Hi, this is Guy Wallace. If your instructional analysis didn't uncover the process performance requirements for the psychological attributes, then you won't be able to share that with your learners so that they can be on the lookout for that being adequate or not before they start and what to do about it if and when they confront any inadequacies in those enablers of the process. Psychological attributes are important and learners who are performers back on the job need to anticipate and deal with how assignments are made given the required psychological attributes. Of course, if you're just shoveling content to them on topics versus authentic task performance leading to worthy outputs that meet stakeholder requirements, then it doesn't really matter anyway, does it? But it should matter because you shouldn't be shoveling topics with face validity when you could be sharing how to perform tasks to produce outputs with authentic performance validity. Understanding what's needed regarding psychological attributes is critical to initial learning in formal instructional means, whether via job aids and or training, but also learning later in both social and informal learning means and to the learner's ultimate success back on the job. And isn't that what it's all about? Performance requires much more than just knowledge and skills. Go for performance.